What's up lads, welcome back to the channel and something a little bit different. Yes, we are taking a quick look at Man of the Match. A lot of you have been asking me about this game and look, it's more a concept at the moment. I mean, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on it, but I'm also very skeptical about it in terms of what we're actually going to be seeing, what the plan is and what it eventually might become. Yes, it does sound good that it seems to be extremely slow paced, realistic simulation I've actually got an interview, it's probably the reason you're going to watch this video, we do have an interview with a lad who is the president of Man of the Match, or the CEO, and he has talked about a little bit um, of, you know, like what the concept of the game is, you know, like how, how it's been, become inspired, um, what kind of inspiration they're drawing from it, um, there is a bit of an issue with the sound quality of the interview, so I do apologize for that, you'll probably need to put in some headphones, uh, I'm not too sure what happened in um the recording of the audio coming in but yeah look i mean they say it's coming in 2025 you will see from the interview there is some ideas behind it that i like but this is more of you know just keeping an eye on what else is going on in the world of football gaming and just being able to see what could be coming down the pipeline let me know your thoughts on this so i'll let you introduce yourself and kind of explain the brief of what 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 you guys are working on yeah, so uh, basically, uh, when I introduce myself, I always use it as football enthusiast, you know, um, first of all, uh, foremost, uh, before everything else. And I'm a gamer, just like you. Uh, I just happen to, to have that project on, on, uh, on my table uh, and trying to uh, have. To, to make an experience and an opportunity to the community uh, for something else you know, never done before. Yeah. In terms of what you guys are building on, I know you've kind of doubled down on the simulation aspect of the game. And a lot of the way now that sports games are made is obviously you have to entice the newcomer in and be a pick up and play and that you're not kind of alienating somebody that wants to learn the game, but is going to be coming up against guys that maybe know the game inside out. So, like, how deep into the simulation are you going to go? And is it a case of, are you going to balance it with some fun gameplay mechanics at the cost of simulation? Or are you just simulation, simulation? Like, this is, this is something different. We're sticking in our lane of offering something purely sim. Um, or is that, is that something that you've kind of talked about? Or is that your, your kind of uh, direction? Yeah, we were going full on with uh, simulation, and and I tell you even better, something even better, that the most relatable hero that can be is actually you yourself, mm -hmm. which is so. so yeah, that's the, the most that's the most uh, 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 the ultimate experience for you to experience real football and believing that uh child will bring the effect of the vision happen. Mm. Because mm -hmm. I show you I am. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, uh, you are, you're right. So that's that's the vision um for for us to to, to You talked about edit mode, right? How are you gonna obviously you're gonna have a deep edit mode, but how are you gonna balance that then in terms of giving people that creative license to be able to do what they want, but still maintaining that realism aspect of the simulation aspect that, you know, somebody might want to play with, you know, a green Afro or like whatever. Right. And obviously that's not realistic. You wouldn't see that on a Saturday, maybe, um, uh, you know, between a Premier League match or whatever. But at the same time, how are you going to balance that? Is there going to be some creative license there or is it, it does the simulation direction extend to every aspect of the game? Pretty much. Yeah. So what we're done, we're going to we'll, we'll do is something really, really simple. We're actually letting the community to, you know, how has has like modes and things like that. Yeah. Um, they basically have a different, a different game. Yeah. Our game will have an in-game mod that everyone will participate okay. under our guidelines. For example, you can't just 
uh, uh, create, like you said, a, a green app. Um, we have we will have a, a guideline, and then the community will share those assets. Okay. We will just you know be the the uh, the canvas mm -hmm. of which the community will share their assets. For example, I'll give you a, a simple example. Yeah. Let's say you're, you're a club owner and you want to um, to build your stadium. So you can go and 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 uh, purchase like a stand of the stadium, and then our stadium builder will incorporate the the attachment. Okay. Those stands. So okay. You can actually, build the so to to get that it's it's mm. like uh, we're incorporating the mod uh, community into our community. So we, so we as a company don't need to, you know, we will have a good amount of variety without us needing to work. Like how close are you, I know you put up a video and it was raw, um, but how close are you guys to, like what's the timeline you have for anyone that's wondering watching the video? Uh, we're aiming at the late 2025, obviously it can drastically change um, with development. Um, I would say that alpha tests will be around um, early 2025 or late 2024. Um, and then beta will be a few months for the release. Yeah. Something like that. Is there anything you would like to kind of say that we I haven't maybe asked you or I haven't touched on or is there anything you'd kind of like people to know about the game? You know, uh, I can I can talk about this game for hours. <laughs> uh, this game will be really deep. Um, there's the world of map the match and, and, and the development, the trade development that no man, that's that's great. I mean, I really appreciate you taking the time. I know you're a busy man. Um, I was lucky enough to get a slot because I saw that you were filling up with the interviews. So I hope you're not. I hope you're taking little mini breaks and having a cup of tea like I am, and chilling. But um, yeah, man, I appreciate you taking the time, and uh, I'm sure we'll we'll catch up again soon. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks, man. Thank you. For all, for the audience. Bye. -bye.